Mortimer J. Adler, How to Speak How to Listen. Welcome to the enlightening world of How to Speak How to Listen by Mortimer J. Adler. In this captivating summary, you'll explore the importance of human communication and the art of effective speaking and listening. Adler highlights how these essential skills, despite being overlooked in modern education, play a central role in persuasive communication, enriching relationships, and fostering understanding. Embrace the sage advice on the cornerstones of communication, including grammar, rhetoric, and logic, and discover the relevance of ethos, pathos, and logos in persuasive speech. Get ready to enhance your conversational capabilities and transform information exchange, whether it's in your personal or professional life. Effective Communication for Improved Operations Mortimer Adler, a renowned philosopher and academician, refused an offer from a corporate giant to further his theories on speaking and listening. He recognized the importance of communication, even for businesses, and advised Macy's on making their conferences efficient. Adler's insights serve as a reminder that effective communication can be the foundation of successful operations and increased profits for organizations. The Art of Communication Effective communication involves writing, reading, speaking, and listening. While reading and writing instruction starts earlier, conversational skills remain neglected in classrooms. The most crucial form of communication is two-way conversation, involving both speaking and listening. In medieval times, listening was a vital skill as students had to learn through lectures. The book argues for the revival of this lost art and stresses the significance of active listening in today's world of constant distractions. The Lost Art of Rhetoric Ancient Greek philosophers believed rhetoric, grammar, and logic were necessary for quality education. In the modern era, rhetoric and logic are no longer emphasized in schools, and grammar is gradually losing popularity. However, these three skills remain essential for persuasive communication. Rhetoric goes beyond salesmanship and involves practical persuasion and instructive speech. It is crucial for engaging individuals, excelling in public speaking, and convincing others ethically. Improving writing skills is not enough to become proficient in conversational abilities. To speak and listen effectively, one must understand the art of rhetoric. The Art of Conversations Renowned philosopher René Descartes posited that conversations are what make humans unique. The ability to share thoughts and emotions, argue, and deliberate freely is a hallmark of human community. Conversations can either be controlled or uncontrolled having a particular objective or free-flowing. Conversations can also be of different types, including social, heart-to-heart, instructive, or practical conversations that persuade. However, effective communication is dependent on choosing the right time, place, and participants and understanding the kind of conversation wanted and the topics under discussions. Interruptions are ill-mannered while polite listening, objective truth, and striving to comprehend other positions take precedence. Mastering the art of conversation is essential in maintaining enduring and meaningful relationships. The Elements of Persuasion Aristotle's treatise explains that ethos, pathos, and logos are three essential elements of persuasion. Ethos concerns character and is necessary to establish credibility. In Julius Caesar, Shakespeare illustrates how both Brutus and Mark Antony use ethos, pathos, and logos to persuade the public. Antony first employs ethos to capture their attention and trust, then uses pathos to stir their emotions, and finishes with logos, providing a rational argument for action. Aristotle's elements of persuasion are not only evident in history and literature but also in daily conversations, making them vital tools for communication. As Aristotle quotes, engaging in good conversation, talk that is both enjoyable and rewarding, is one of the very best uses that human beings can make of their free time. The Art of Persuasive Speaking To be persuasive, you must use pathos to evoke your audience's emotions, limit the length and complexity of your argument, and provide new information, understanding, and insights. 
The ancient and honorable art of rhetoric is not just for sales but applies to instructive speeches such as lectures, sermons, and business addresses. Your audience must listen attentively to gain knowledge and insights, requiring self-understanding and engagement in two-way talk. Overall, effective persuasive speaking involves satisfying the audience's emotional and intellectual needs. Master the art of speaking and listening. To become an effective speaker, one needs to prepare their speech carefully by creating a skeletal outline or an outline form with full sentences. When delivering a speech, it should be limited to 30 minutes or less, and one should avoid rambling. On the other hand, to become an active listener, it is crucial to engage one's mind and try to understand the speaker's message, arguments, and conclusions while also thinking critically to buy or not to buy into them. Listeners should note down all the information presented and reflections on the speaker's message, including relevant special terms. Agile listeners are encouraged to ask questions about the subject, primary ideas, and any significant issues or arguments presented. Lastly, question and answer sessions should be conducted between the speaker and listeners to create an interactive communication platform, which helps both parties learn from each other. Conversation, the key to advancement. In his essay, Civil Liberty, philosopher David Hume emphasizes the importance of conversation as central to human society. Similarly, Robert Hutchins, former president of the University of Chicago, believed that Western civilization was founded upon inquiry, with dialogue and logical understanding at its core. Hutchins contended that the sharing of thoughts and convictions is essential for civilization to advance. Cicero, the Roman philosopher, believed that conversation is the only way to settle disputed questions and avoid brute force. Successful relationships, be it between individuals or nations, depend on quality conversations. Thus, conversation is the mark of an educated person and key to advancement. As we wrap up this enjoyable journey through how to speak how to listen, it's crucial to recognize that strong communication skills form the backbone of unifying communities and fostering understanding. Adler has imparted the significance of mastering grammar, rhetoric, and logic in persuasive communication, and applying the time-tested principles of ethos, pathos, and logos in capturing the attention and respect of your audience. As you reflect on these invaluable insights, continue to nurture your speaking and listening skills to cultivate meaningful relationships, overcome disagreements, and contribute to the progress of civilization. Remember, quality conversation and active listening are the true hallmarks of an educated individual.